Canada's transportation system is under pressure. In our major urban hubs, situations like these are becoming a fact of life. And with more people and businesses concentrating in fewer places, fast intercity transportation is urgently needed. Transportation that won't be affected by Canada's annual climatic disturbances, the Achilles heel of our road and air transportation systems. One option being seriously considered is a high-speed intercity passenger train. Fast, efficient, reliable, safe, and inexpensive, city core to city core rail travel. It's like a second Canadian dream. But our weather has a way of imposing its own special needs. A high-speed train not only has to withstand extreme cold, snowstorms and freezing rain, but also abrupt temperature swings. All things considered, is high-speed rail transportation really feasible for Canada? Well, Canada's not the only country with constraints like these. Take Sweden, for instance. It's fairly large and sparsely populated. Major cities are many hundreds of kilometers apart. And just like Canada, Sweden has witnessed a long-term decline in its passenger rail traffic. To reverse this trend, the Swedes needed technical solutions which could offer significant reductions of travel time at a reasonable cost. Solutions designed for a climate that's very similar to ours. So similar, in fact, that even the landscape looks the same. Their solution was this train. It's called the X2. It's an electric high-speed train incorporating latest generation technologies. The X2 can travel at 250 kilometers an hour. But more significant is its high average speed, which enables it to cover the distance between Stockholm and Gothenburg, 457 kilometers, in less than three hours. It's a fast, clean, safe, and energy efficient mode of transportation. And the beauty of it is that it's running on existing railway lines. This train was built by ABB. ABB is the world's leading electrical engineering group. With global sales of $30 billion and a workforce of 215,000 in over 140 countries, including Canada, ABB is uniquely placed to meet electrical engineering needs anywhere in the world. Its major activities are power generation, transmission and distribution, industrial equipment and systems including robotics and factory automation, environmental technology, communications, and of course transportation, especially electric traction. In that area, ABB is no newcomer. ABB Canada's president and CEO, Peter Jansen. We developed the first electrically driven train set in 1891. That's almost a hundred years of experience and development that we've had going on within our group. It's our technology, it's our development in electric traction. As a federation of national companies, ABB thinks globally but acts locally. This decentralized philosophy has enabled ABB Canada to grow on its own. ABB Canada is already the major supplier to the two biggest Canadian electrical utilities. Its resources and determination have made it the leading electrotechnical company in Canada. ABB Canada's products and technologies are also at work in other major Canadian industries, pulp and paper, automotive, mining and metallurgy. The company also manufactures robots and automation systems. Following the acquisition of Westinghouse plants in mid-89 and combustion engineering this year, ABB Canada increased its workforce to more than 5,000 Canadians. ABB now owns the most advanced technologies for mass transit systems and high-speed trains, and it ensures its leadership by spending almost $2 billion a year on research and development. It shows. 
If we look within ABB, we see these three technologies. The magnetic levitation travels at well over 500 kilometers an hour. We have the Intercity Express in Germany, which is a high-speed alternative traveling well over 300 kilometers an hour. Then we have this train that we've developed in Sweden, which is really the base for the Sprintor, the solution that we're offering here for Canada. ABB Canada has already been involved in major Canadian transportation projects, traction motors and controls for the second phase of the Montreal Metro, and recently electrical systems for BC Rail's heavy freight trains in Tumbler Ridge. The company supplied propulsion equipment to major car builders for use in Cleveland, Portland and San Jose, as well as Disney World in Florida. ABB Canada also built complete electric trolley buses for the city of Edmonton. Now, ABB Canada is committed to the Canadian high-speed train project. Canada needs some high-speed rail, but Canada can't afford to spend too much money on it. And we need something that's going to be practical, can be installed tomorrow and get working, and we know it's going to work. The key to Sprintor's increased speed lies in ABB's bogey design. Contrary to rigid traditional bogies, the ABB high-speed train bogey allows both wheel axles to respond to curves. Friction and track stress are minimized, and stability improved, resulting in up to 40% higher speed through the curves on ordinary track with complete safety. The active car body tilt technology uses ABB's advanced climate-proven electronics and controls to increase passenger comfort through the curves. All tilt equipment is fitted under the coach floor to maximize passenger space. Three-phase asynchronous motors, controlled by rugged state-of-the-art electronics, allow greater motor power and reduced weight, two of the essential conditions for maintaining high-speed performance through slopes and hills. One of the strengths of ABB, and clearly what has been selected in the industry as being the future technology for electric traction. That's what's called the asynchronous type of drive. That's an AC technology. The leader in that technology, that's ABB. Fast trains are redefining travel in Europe and Japan, most of all business travel. They offer an efficient working environment and unmatched comfort with all necessary office and telecommunication equipment right at hand. Travel time will no longer be lost time. Sprintor is not merely a research and development project. It's ready to run now. All that's needed is the electrification of the selected railway lines. There again, ABB's proven expertise speaks for itself. ABB's Sprintor will make the run from Toronto to Montreal in less than three hours. And because it runs on existing track, after the launch of the proposed Windsor-Quebec City corridor, the same train can be phased in elsewhere say between Calgary and Edmonton, and even on secondary lines extending service to many other cities as demand increases. This project will garner significant and immediate benefits, both for the industry partners involved and for Canada. Canada was built by the railroad. During the 20th century, train travel declined, losing to the car and the aeroplane. But the 21st century could very well witness the renaissance of the train as fast trains become once again the preferred mode of travel over short and medium distances. Above all, ABB tries to be pragmatic. Attack the problem with things that will solve it. Don't kill it. We don't need a Concorde. We need some jumbo jets. The workhorse of the airline industry, the Sprintor, is that workhorse. For Canada, as for Sweden, Topography, climate, environment, demography, and economy all converge to ABB's technology, the only cost-effective way to higher speeds on existing track, the Sprintor. <laughs>